Welcome to Informatica Support Multimedia Support Sessions. I am Ajay from Global Customer Support Team and in this session I am going to discuss on how to troubleshoot the Informatica service startup problems after enabling IA4J tracing. In today's agenda we will see brief about what is IA4J and the need of it in uh, troubleshooting applications, what actually the IA4J option contains what are the known reasons for service startup issues after enabling IA4J trace, how to self troubleshoot the startup issues in this scenario, followed by a quick demo to show any of the known issues. IA4J stands for Informatica Agent for Java and it is a diagnostic collector tool for Java process. Starting from Informatica 9.x, majority of the Informatica services created in the domain are Java based and any errors or warnings from the services are usually captured in the service logs. At times the traces captured in the logs are not sufficient enough to identify the root cause of the problem. And at that time a support engineer would need to capture more details uh, from the service process by instrumenting the Java applications at runtime. IA4J has the ability to instrument the Java applications at runtime. One of the known challenge is that when requested for IA4J traces, Informatica support team usually test the trace configurations before sending to customers. But sometimes it's been noticed that the users of the tool face difficulty in applying the tool in the service and runs into service startup issues. The intent of this session is to give caveats on where users go wrong and how to self troubleshoot the startup issues that arise after uh, configuring IA4J tracing. Before we get into troubleshooting, let's understand what the trace options string contains. Since it's a tool for Java apps, it has a jar by name ia4j.jar that contains the java agent and the props file that contains the instructions for the agent about the classes or the methods that need to be instrumented. The details of the jar and props file are to be passed to the service through JVM command options. A typical ia4j option string looks like this. Basically, it contains two JVM options. Uh, among those, the first one is X boot class path, and this option helps to load the agent jar before loading the service classes. One thing to notice in this option is about the path of the jar. When the jar file is not prefixed by any path, service process looks for IA4J at the Info home tomcat bin directory. Otherwise, the absolute jar path specified in the option uh, will be verified for the jar, lo jar location. The other option is Java agent option, uh, which implies to start the Java agent available in the IA4J jar file located in the info home tomcat bin. The agent can take uh, internal options where config file is one such uh, option and the value for this option also implies that Java process need to look at IA4J uh, props file under info home tomcat bin. As long as the jar and prop file location are not specified with absolute path in this trace option string, Informatica services expect these files to be available under info home tomcat bin directory. Otherwise, these files should be available in the absolute path specified in the trace option string. This option string need to be appended to the JVM command option property of the service in admin console. Let's see the known reasons for startup issues. First thing is uh, about the non-availability of uh, IA4J jar or the props file in the right location or it could be uh, uh, appending of uh, JVM command argument uh, in, 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 in a new line instead of uh, appending 
on the same line of existing options or it could be because of appending JVM command arguments without a space after the last option uh, in the existing option string or it could also be possible that users try to update the JVM command argument uh, ar argument list instead of appending it uh, I mean by overriding the existing option string instead of appending at the end usually service startup errors are logged in the domain logs and if there are any errors during startup uh, with IFOJ enabled uh, the domain log captures uh, more detailed information on on the reasons for the error to troubleshoot the problems uh, either we can open domain log from admin console or download it from the admin console if we see a error message specifying exception while opening config file and uh, followed by file not found exception in the domain log uh, this implies the IFOJ props file provided in the command option string is not available under info home tomcat bin if the props file is uh, shown with the absolute path in the error message then that implies the props file is not available at that location so the solution to this problem would be to place the props file under tomcat bin or at the absolute location as specified in the command option so the next kind of error that we can see is error opening zip file or jar manifest file followed by ia4j.jar and this implies the jar file ia4j jar file is not available under tomcat bin so the solution to overcome this problem is to make sure the jar file is placed under tomcat bin another error that we can see is uh, could not find main class and if we see this error and in the domain log if there is another error message following to this uh, log message specifying x boot class path with ia4j jar this implies the x boot class path has been specified in the new line in jvm command line options of the service in admin console so the solution to this problem is to remove the new line or append the exclude uh, x boot class path or, or, or the ia4j trace option entire option string uh, at the end of the existing option string so another error that we can see is unrecognized vm option uh, followed by a option string uh, which is ending with x boot class path slash a colon ia4j dot jar and the, the reason for this error message is that the option string is added without uh, giving a space at the end of previous option string in the jvm command option so the solution to this problem is to add a space between the uh, x boot class path and the previous option in the jvm command option so another error th that users usually do is about overriding the existing option string instead of uh, appending uh, to the existing one in this case sometimes or, or some services may start successfully but that doesn't mean the functionality of the service is proper since we have over it or we have removed the existing options the functionality of the service could get impacted so be cautious to not to override the existing JVM arguments unless otherwise suggested by Informatica engineers let me show you the demo of couple of these problems here I'm trying to append the IA4J option string to the existing JVM command line option of DIS service and I have just appended it without giving a space and 
and I have to recycle the service to pick up the changes so after recycle the DS fails to come up if we go to domain logs In the domain logs, we can clearly see the message that it's an unrecognized VM option. The reason is that we, we have appended it without adding a space to the existing option string. Let's go back to service and modify the JVM command line options to add a space to resolve this problem. Recycle the service. now the service has come up after adding space between two options similarly let's try to overwrite the complete JVM string and see what will happen assume if the user tries to overwrite the unlist JVM option list Now we can see analyst has successfully started but accessing analyst or accessing objects from the analyst may fail. Now we can see the data preview on uh, flat file has failed. So we never know uh, what sort of errors the tool, the services can run into uh, when overriding the existing command options. If any of the specified errors are not found in the domain logs and still the service fails to start up after adding IA4J options, please contact Informatica GCS team for further assistance. Okay, uh, we welcome your feedback and we would love to hear from you. You can write to us on support videos at informatica.com or tweet us at twitter.com slash infosupport. Thank you.